Hey. Good evening, this is Tiger and AJ. We are back after some more technical problems with connecting OBS to Twitch. After all, we managed though. And we can do our chill stream in California. Spectre, good evening. We are doing better now after um yeah we figured out the thing why OBS would not transfer or uh yeah transmit the game to uh Twitch. How are you doing? Are you playing the Blackpool branches in Trains of World 4 already? Or have you waited with the purchase as I have? Today I wanted to do a really quiet chill stream and um, go to Southern California and play a, a, a service that runs the whole length of the line from LA Union to Lancaster. Spectus is fine, just returned from my vacation in Portugal, rode on the Alpha Pendula train, nice, have you got bought? Have not yet bought the Blackpool route. No, neither have I. I have to do some catching up with routes that have been released during the Trains in World 3 period. And I'm hoping for the Christmas sale to bring some relief on the price end to that. And then we can buy no new routes again so uh antelope valley and there are actually not too many services that go oh, what am i doing here choose the route antelope valley timetable now here there are not so many services actually that do the whole trip from LA Union to Lancaster maybe three or so we can see that it is quite a long a long thing are we doing this in November no I don't think so I want to do it in summer let's play it in June Union to Lancaster we'll have some light clouds so that something is happening in the skies Yeah, we have talked about positive train control and IETMS. Um, what is obviously not yet implemented in the game and it is probably still a long way for it to get implemented. But nevertheless, I thought it is interesting to talk about it. And just recently, in the aftermath of the crash in Chicago the other day there is a lot of talk about making it mandatory even for railway carriers that are not connected to the national grid and network to have PTC systems on their trains and there is a lively discussion if a PTC system would have prevented this crash between a commuter train and a snow fighter vehicle that was out there on the track for training purposes. And from what you could hear from the NTSB the problem was that the safety system that was running in this commuter train did the calculation for the brake curve incorrectly or well at least in a way that the train system the system thought that the train can stop in a much shorter distance than it actually took the train to stop 
and in this gap between the braking distance that the system calculated and the real braking distance there was the snow fighter Dobry den, CD Radar nice to have you back on the stream I hope you are doing well signal at the exit is still red so we have to not overdo it probably we should have stayed in place but this actually gives us the nice opportunity to approach the signal, see it switch see how our train works, we get our running brake just even if only from a speed of 5 or 6 miles per hour yeah and this recent crash in Chicago was with a train running about 27 miles per hour and well it made quite a dent in the front of this train even with quite slow speeds of 27 miles per hour you can do a lot of damage apparently just imagine this happens with a train traveling with 70 90 or 125 or even 140 miles per hour So, whoever is interested in positive train control, there is actually some new discussion about that. I have not been able to establish, though, what train control system they are actually using on the Chicago L trains on their network with some kind of a system that calculates brake curves they apparently have I read the forums a bit about the review for this route during the week and well, it is not getting the best reviews, to be honest, with a lot of scenery issues and stuff. And still I have to defend it. I think this is one of the most interesting routes that the game has to offer. And it is, in my view, beautiful on top of it. With a bit more functionality in the trains, like the indicators working on the display the scoring system working on the cap car this should be done but apart from that it might actually be my favorite route of the three that came with Trains in World 4 oh yeah do you, do you enjoy it? I um, bought SimRail and played it a bit when it came out in early access. And I think it is quite cute. I especially like, like the, the radio dispatcher communication. Sometimes you have to switch your radio channels and talk to the dispatcher before you are allowed to leave the station. That is something that is a bit missing in this game here. You have it only in some scenarios in Sandpatch Great where you can actually hear a dispatcher talking to you. I think this get, could add a lot to the immersion. There's a train coming in. This is why we are not allowed to start, I think. And multiplayer is great. Oh, I have not yet dared to do multiplayer in SimRail 
can also be a dispatcher there in multiplayer, right? But if you're not doing it properly, you're ruining it for everyone who is playing on that server, is it right? I've actually been thinking about doing a video about the Polish uh, signaling system and safety systems with using sim, um, sim rail. You can set routes for other players, CD radar says. And if you're setting the routes wrong, then you're causing a lot of mayhem. And everybody has to wait for you to figure out your routes, no? By the way, I bought some icons for badges and emojis, as you can see. Also the channel points have now their tiger emote. AJ found them and suggested long enough until I finally bought them. So, I uh, think this is where the 12 miles restriction ends. We can accelerate a bit to the 25. I wonder if there is a service that you can play in free roam to go across this bridge here. Should try maybe. Limit increasing to 30 here. Approaching a level crossing since we are quite slow still. Yes, Spectre, he says on the chat. Let me do my cadence before answering, otherwise, I will. confuse myself too much. The route with the strangest speed limits in my opinion 34, 93, uh, not, not 93, 39 obviously. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is true. But obviously, obviously they just calculated it on the point so that you're not losing A single mile per hour that you could go. Limit increasing to 50 here. What I have seen, if you're running a service that is supposed to go to the central maintenance facility here, to the depot, then you're routed on the left track here before you're branching off to the left. And this is a rare occasion where um, you get um, not only a restricted signal when entering the depot, but you get actually an approach restricting signal here on the signal that we're passing now 
or about that we are about to pass now that is red here for the left track at the moment and here you can get a yellow over flashing red what is an approach restricting if I remember correctly that this is the first instance where in the game at all I have seen an approach restricting signal Here on the left is this central maintenance, no, no, the central maintenance facility. At the same time, the depot with a car wash and gas station. Rain bush, probably. It's a bit annoying because the speed limit in the facility is five miles, and having your train run at five miles is always notch one idle notch one idle notch one idle hello eric gaunt and your smooth forehead nice to have you on the stream this route causes you physical pain oh i'm sorry to hear that and why is that so is it because of the scenery issues that people on the forums go on or is it because of the always changing speed restrictions speed limits going up and down it's so long and so slow and speed limits hurt you <laughs> yeah. well this is what I like in this route actually it is long and it is so dynamic in speed restrictions and gradient profile. I still have not managed to memorize it fully. And I like it that if you do a full run it just takes two hours or more so that you are really busy. So Chili, what are you doing under my desk? Do you want to find a spot to lay down? So, you see those cars on the left track? That means that we are approaching Glendale. Limit increasing to 79. Eric says maybe our first two hour route which I am fine but <laughs> damn I'm more a fan of higher speeds well yeah Well, I think it's the variety where the fun comes in. Right now we're gonna see Hank again. Oh, that's a good question. I think as soon as we are as soon as we are doing um, American Freight again with some 
shunting action So, let's see if we manage to stop at the 5 car marker here. Or if I stole the train before that. Where is my 5 car marker? Here it is. Okay. We are a bit late, but oh god, it's been. We are a bit late, but this is because they. Maybe I should open the door. But this is because they kept us at the red signal when exiting Union Station. And look at that, they are not lighting the tail lights, unfortunately, and I can't do this with the external cameras. So you should actually start the service from free roam, and then start at the end of the train to turn on the tail lights on the cap car or change the script by the way how do I set my game to English I don't speak French why is your game set in French? Oh no, but anyways, I have to wonder why this train is so ugly. Well, AJ liked the train. <laughs> well, I guess where do you change the, the some sometime somewhere in the setting there should be Is there not a setting for the language? Interesting question. I've never tried to set it somewhere to something else. I think it's in properties outside of the game, but I don't want to reset my route. Well, I can look into it later. So, to Burbank, that means for a short while 79 miles limit, and then Burbank is typically not showing here on the pause screen, so I have to pay attention that we don't miss it. Because you're operating the TGV, I see, so the game talks in French to you. Imagine if America was built of electric trains. Yeah, that is a lot of overhead catenary wire.
advance approach. That means we have to prepare to pass the next signal with not more than 40. Here we have a quiet zone on the whistle board, meaning that we don't have to honk the horn when passing the level crossing here for the next two. I don't know if third rail freight trains exist. Interesting question. Maybe on some narrow gauge routes in the mountains with third rail and light freight. So, two times whistling. So, and this is the thing where I have to agree with the people on the forums who say that it is not so great that you always have a red signal at the station exit so that you're approaching the station with advanced approach approach what always slows you down in front of the station already because now we're passing the approach signal with no more than, than 40 miles and are even more late in Burbank. A single 50 k volts continuum freight route in the middle of nowhere to transport coal. Interesting. I don't think I've seen anyone else take this game more seriously. <laughs> well, I really enjoy digging into this, into those uh, signaling systems and safety systems, and trying to figure out how they fit and work together. And then I want to try at least to drive according to what I think I have found out. So, two more level crossings in the quiet zone. So busy, what is busy, the chat or the game or AJ? AJ seems to be quite busy. <laughs> so where are my markers for the stop? Your station? Are you playing sim rail next to us here. So here the markers for the stops are on this little wall. I hate YouTube, I keep getting ads for the worst mobile games in existence. Oh yeah. Well... I, I stopped paying attention what I'm getting ads, ads for on, on YouTube. Unfortunately, I cannot turn that off as a content provider who does not get anything out of those
YouTube Premium and nothing else, thank you. <laughs> Alright. I've never looked into that YouTube Premium. I just don't pay attention when, when ads are playing. So, here we get a diverging clear. What tells us that we are going onto the diverging line? What has a limit of 35? Is that correct? Yes, at least I remember that correctly and did not go too fast on the diverging track. And this is more or less the point when we're diverging off the main track, if you want to put it like this. Control point Burbank. Obviously, I should not fan around with the throttle so much. But I'm still trying to get a better feel for this locomotive. Yeah, the penalty break on the KVB says F you, how insulting. But it means freinage d'urgence, not, yeah, whatever you might think it is supposed to say. See, the radar hates KVB. Well, there is not so much KVB in uh <laughs> Yes. You managed to get around the profanity filter with this transcript. But there is hardly any KVB in, in this in, in the game here, right? A very, very short track from Marseille until the TVM s uh, section starts and a little bit in London some Pancras and a little bit in Ashford. And while it is a control system, it is not a guidance system, it is a control system. But the weird one, I have to give you that. Limit increasing to 60. Approaching Burbank Airport. If you were to design your own safety system, yeah. Well, with safety system, same thing here. The variety is what makes it interesting. I guess the most advanced safety systems on the market are, are the IET MS that we just looked at. Maybe also the Axis 2 systems. Mm -hmm. Well, those multi system ICEs went quite far with that. They crammed a lot of systems, at least four or five. In one ICE train. So, how did we do here? Now oh, we can actually pick up some, s some time here again.
Or did I move it until suppression even? Burbank Airport, where's the airport by the way? Can we see the airport here? Well, I guess one of the greatest cap signaling guidance system, safety systems is the TVM430 on the TGV. It works really well with the high speed trains. And uh, PZB is simply the greatest and best system in the world of 1935, I guess. <laughs> and it is amazing how much it can do without actually calculating brake curves and stuff. If I could make own safety system, it would be SOP2P, ACB, M4 and LZB500. Oh, this will send me researching what that is. SOP2P, ACB, M4. Takes some time to get your head around PZB, but once it clicks, it is amazing, yeah. It is so charmingly complicated, this system, if you compare it with other systems. So Sun Valley, Sun Valley always is so close to Bourbon Airport that I always almost miss the stop. Charmingly complicated. <laughs> Essentially L set A, okay. Anyway, I will have to look into that CD radar. And like always, I'm so mesmerized by my own honking sequence that I am slow for the stop. Yeah, the flying cars. And I bet <laughs> the neighbors love living there. Uh, and we already are at the end of this stuff here. Okay. Sun Valley is my worst stop here, typically.
They should only have female drivers here because there's a guy I cannot focus on honking the horn and preparing the stop at the same time. This is where the 5 marker is, so actually probably where we should have stopped. So I think we have some more 79 mile per hour track in front of us before we are diverging. Yeah, and there will be, if I remember this correctly, a short section with a limit of 75 instead of 79. already showing? No, it's not. Silmar San Fernando is the next stop and I think this will already be after the next divergence. It's still not here. Okay, well then we can just go on with 79. 75 part starts at some switch. Here the cars are not flying, but they are more or less halfway submerged. <laughs> that the while honking sometimes makes weird noises. <laughs> they are low riders spec <laughs> So, I wish they put these cars quantum core ground clipping technology in the trains. I have, I have not gotten so far in, in the editor. But would be interesting to see what the problem is, why they can't get the collision or whatever the cars are riding on at the same level with the physical representation of the of the and here it is all of a sudden of the street.
let's unpause the switch. We are back to 79. I'm quite sure about that. Soon as the train has passed the switch, we should be back to 79. Yes. So much for slowly putting together my route knowledge. Now there are three level crossings. Not in the quiet zone. And again we are... See, now it's overloading me already. This approach signal surprised me. I missed the advance approach. And we have to slow down to 40 as fast as possible. Stop honking, oh god, I got headache from that sound. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this is the sound of the American Railroad. American Railroad feels more like an American Rail L every every year. <laughs> well, maybe I should have to travel to the United States soon and have a look at the railroad and see how they feel for myself. Three. Ah, this is the station where the five marker is behind the platform. So much for that. Is it even possible to arrive early on this route? Yes, I guess it is. It is possible. Not if you slow down to 40 when you get the approach. I guess. And not if you're unlucky with the signals, but in general I think it is possible. And you can break this train quite harshly. So, to gain some seconds there too, you probably don't want to do it. What time is it? In the game, it is half past twelve in the game. Park o'clock, yes. The dogs want out as always, even though I just 
went with them before the stream. So, I think now we have seen almost the last honk position. There is another level crossing coming in. So unfortunately, I will have to go on honking even more. And I can see the, the, the next one incoming. Well, at least you have something to do. So we're slowing down to 45, I guess. If I saw that correctly on that sign. But I did not see any whistle board for this level crossing, nevertheless. Before the FRA hauls me in for additional training, I will do my honking. Forty five it was, then sixty again. then slowing down. It's hard to read the signs here. What is it then? 45 again. I think at the corner we need to be back to 45. Oh, we're not, we're too fast. Yes, that was inevitable. So, why is there even this short spell of 60? It's not really a point to accelerate. Now we're dropping to 35 and then to 30 I think in front of the tunnel if this is this bit of track. Advanced approach not hurting us that much since we are slow anyway. So come on, gradient. Slow us down to 35 so that I don't need to break. Yeah, I guess this worked. For a change. By the way, guys, I'm running out a bit of topics for my tutorial streams. So if you have any ideas what can be featured in the game, please let me know. I have some things left about braking systems and... Uh, Maybe one or two signaling systems on the American freight routes. 
and electric traction. But judging from experience, this is typically what is a bit or considered a bit less interesting. How do electric trains work? For electric traction, yeah. I have actually three or four videos about electric traction. And there can be more. This is an approach diverging signal telling us that we are diverging at the next switch. So I can finally make a video about the IGBT and the GTO VVVFs. But that would possibly require myself understanding it better. This tunnel is creepy as fuck, yeah. You wouldn't want to be caught with your head out of the window in this tunnel. And it's quite long. Other games content. Mm, yeah, I was thinking about that actually. But would be a big step in enlarging the scope of the channel. I almost bought the World of Underground thingies on Steam when they were on sale the other day. That you talked about when we were doing the London Underground video CD Radar. But then I didn't because I put them in my cart and then I walked with the dogs and after I returned with the dogs the sale was over. And then I obviously did not buy them anymore. But probably they will return. A beginner's guide to calculations such as brake percentage, PCB modes, brake modes, top speeds, etc. Okay. So, doing all that, what I skipped in in my uh, brake train brake setup video. I used PowerPoint for the presentation, but it's not 365, it is uh, an older version. Heaven's sake. Now I managed not to speed when exiting the tunnel, but obviously afterwards. So maybe that is not a bad idea Spectre to look more at the calculations of the 
Brake percentage and PZB modes, brake modes, top speeds. I've managed to use it without paying, so don't get me arrested. I used on of my Yahoo cards and it worked. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, I missed the honking chance while reading the chat and got into speeding again. Look at The train leaves you with a German freight train just showing tons. I would love some guidance on the settings, speed limitations, etc. Have you watched my PZBM video? The video uh, labeled... Um, don't break it if it ain't fixed. Because this is when I um, was discussing brake modes and calculation of brake percentage PZB modes. I covered some of it, not everything, obviously. But I guess some of it is already in this video. Especially how to set up your the the uh, brake selectors on the locomotive and the cars for G and P and R. Yes, ex exactly. The long local setting is just discussed there as well. Yeah, ob obviously. The good thing is that the freight services do not necessarily need to start on time. No, almost on the spot. Yeah, well, this is an old issue with the question of setting up trains and how much time you get in the service mode for setting up trains. If there's not enough time, then people like you and me will complain that there is not enough time to set up the train properly. If there is a lot of time, then people will complain that they have to wait all the time if they just want to drive and not set up trains and use safety system and stuff. It's always hard to please players with, well, so much difference in, in the levels of immer immersion that they want to have. And who ordered the fog here? I did not want any fog. Santa Clarita is the next one.
pros aspect of the game is for many people those who just want to take a quick spin and others who want to drive it uh, dive into it more yeah so 70 for now and then 50 okay so there is no point in going beyond the 50 So maybe someone can clear the fog here. Can't see the nice scenery now that we're getting into the canyons. Santa Clarita is this sweet little station in a curve away from the highway you're waving arms around her <laughs> okay hey Jesus and she's waving her arms around wildly but it did not clear away the fog I'm I'm afraid Increase to 70 again. No, this is one from behind and a clear signal So I picked a service in June so that we have clear skies, light clouds and we end up having fog. Oh sh I didn't see an announcement for that 39 here. I hope we don't derail in the corner now. Let the train Take the strain. <laughs> I think the train took a lot of strain just right now. Like in the Cajon Pass video, very foggy indeed, yeah. I'm, I'm still not sure if in Cajon Pass they finally fixed the fog bug or whether it is not considered a bug anymore. Well, if it starts snowing again here on our way to Lancaster, like in last week's video, then there is something wrong. So after the next bend, I think there is already the station. Now 30 is announced. Well, the 39 should have been announced. And I should have remembered it. This is the problem if you try to go according to your track knowledge and then your track knowledge is not there. Here's the station.
At least here you can see the markers from afar. Have you noticed when you're driving driving the strain from the locomotive, then you can put the power handle into setup and even idle without getting the driver assist. And on the cap car, the driver assist is always complaining that you should not put the handle into power if you're just moving it into idle from a braking position. Or maybe they have fixed this in the last update. I'm not sure. So Via Princesa is the next stop. At first we are in the 30 limit and I think it only incre increases on our way to Via Princesa. So back to the highway. Increase to seventy here. Again a honking board. Or we can wait a bit with thirty before we start. So let's root for the fog to clear. I need to see my markers, otherwise my... Oh, what is... What is there regarding my root knowledge? I, if I can't see my markers, then this does not help me. How far is it to be a princess? So there will be. Uh, I think we will be rooted to the side here. 55. Another thing that people were complaining about that you should not get rooted to the loop line if there is no train coming from the opposite direction.
But then we should actually get signals warning us to slow down. So I wonder how real life train engineers do that with the honking if they are wearing heavy ear protection for it. Or if you get used to it. Getting an approach. That does not look as if we are getting diverted. Okay, 55. Without getting diverted. The drop to 40 because of the approach signal. And around the corner there is the station already. And we are arriving early, actually. Probably we could because we let <laughs> the train take the train. No, this was before the last stop, I guess, in Santa Clarita that we had the train take this train. One click away from the perfect stopping position, according to the game, at least. At least I've never seen that you get more than 490 points for a stop. Yeah, probably I went a bit far. The best chance is to get your full points from what I have found if you see the blue marker just when you look out of your window like this. <laughs> Doors still open. But actually, from what I have read, you should end up in a position where the wheelchair door is next to the wheelchair ramp, this thingy here. Should be aligned with this door here. To make some sense. Starting uphill, this is where I have the independent brake full on. And build up some traction before we slowly release it. So, Vista Canyon is the next. Line speed goes up to 79 here. But I think we are going around this, this weird little loop before we get to Vista Canyon. And that requires us to slow down again. Yeah, to 25 here. And 
so there is no point in accelerating to the 79. As soon as we are going across the switch, we need to be back to 25. And I think we are diverging shortly after the next level crossing. At least we get the diver an uh, approach diverging. Or no, an we're too fast. It is a diverging approach actually that we got. And for whatever reason, this train is going beyond when running uphill. Well... But at least I'm getting a rudimentary feel for the speed profile here on this route, even though I cannot drive it yet from the top of my head. So why we did this funny loop here, instead of running straight on the line to the left, ah well, prob prob probably because we're just taking the right track, and the other one is kept free for the traffic from the other direction and there was no room to put them next to each other I guess quite heavy incline here and approaching the stop at Vista Canyon And this is where we started last week's video. So we have a full video still to go until we get to Lancaster. But uh, without the presentation, obviously. In the lights, there is another train and the station, obviously. bit late again. <laughs> no, 
know, we have it in front of our window, but maybe because we are too late. So we have to go back to the main line. Unfortunately, because of the fork, we cannot see the signals. So approach the signal with caution. We got a diverging approach when we got here. But I think it is green on top. Even though this sounds like famous last words, it is green on top. And as soon as we are out, and across the switch we can accelerate. And get to whatever 50 or what is allowed here. 75 even, jeez. And now we've got this long stretch from Vista Canyon to Vincent Great Acton. So, is the fog clearing up? Maybe it's only misty. No. So your hand waving or arm waving actually worked, AJ. Ugh. But not my root knowledge because I missed the 55 thingy here. See, I thought it was 55 or something when coming out of the siding, but at first it was 70 and now it is back to 55. And the fog has cleared. Thank you, AJ, for your arm waving. So as soon as we see this yellow structure there approaching, we have to slow down to 39 or something like this. This yellow pipeline bridge. I to actually try to find out what that is in real life. And I've seen it on 
Google Maps, but it doesn't say what it is, whether it is a pipeline that gets water to the part of the city in the north, or what it actually does. I don't know. At least it is a nice marker for this reduction here. For once I was right, 39 here. And I think there is another drop before it increases a little bit. Some honking for a change. I think there is another reduction in speed limit around one of those corners here. Not sure if it is the corner that we're approaching right now or the next one. And I don't know how slow we're getting. 34, I think. Yeah, it looks like it's this corner because we are going on a single track. Let's aim for 34 here. Let's see what we're getting. 34, yes. And quite a gradient. I think now there is this beautiful part with the little tunnels. And the highway higher up than the train tracks are. don't think the speed drops even more for the tunnel. I think it is good to pass it with 34.
then an increase to 44, right? Yes, that's what the sign says. But soon enough there will be another decrease in speed limit. But I think this time we're getting a sign for it. Well, I'm not so super sure about the sign. What is it? 90... Uh, 90... 37 or something. Let's try 37. It's 35, all right. And it will drop to 28 even, or 27, I think. I just don't know if we're getting a cue for it. Or if it will hit us just out of the there. Why does the terrain look so good? Why would it not? Let's see. Ah, here is actually a sign for a change. Warning about a reduction to 29. Very nice. And the bush on the track. Bish. So let's see if the gradient pulls us down to the twenty eight. Yeah, the 29, of course. But I guess this is the slowest speed that we get here.
Yeah, I love this part. I think the terrain looks really great here. Yeah, next time I will turn on the tail lights. This is actually a bit annoying for the external shots when your tail lights are off. On some locomotives you can turn them on with the external camera, but I have not managed to do this. On this train so far at least and it's always a bit annoying if you have to run back to the end of your train if you only have one minute setup time like in this DLC here what this is here. So, and here the limit increases again slightly to 35 at first. And the next step in an increase to 45 while approaching a level crossing.
just think that there will be another reduction before we get to Vincent Great Acton. Here is it as announced to 40. Then even two thirty five. And another decrease is announced two twenty eight. All right. at the switch there is 28 yeah hey chili we will go for a walk after the stream yep here is the 28 so this is the slowest speed that we're getting here we got before on a quite quite a steep gradient and then it's going back to 39 just for this curve here. almost as if there is if there was a train on the track but this is a, a bus to train prob probably not on the track but next to it Good evening, Ronnie. Long time no see. How was the strike? Increase to fifty here.
Oh, you had an off day when the strike happened. Well... That is sad, yeah. That is sad too, and sadly long time no see, lots of work. I get it. Your ETCS rating will finally start at the beginning of December. That is cool. Then you can tell us how, how it really works. Or is supposed to work. And maybe you can tell the guys at DTG how to implement ETCS finally. If they cannot implement IE TMS. He says it seems to be a crossover with more information due to the ETCS planning area than with LZB. I look forward to it. Well, that will be that will be interesting, no doubt. So, is there actually any route in Germany? where they use the full-blown ETCS full supervision cap signaling system on level 2 or level 1 or is it Level 1 limited supervision, more or less everywhere where they use it. Level 2 with full supervision Ulm Wendlingen and VDA 8, any ETCS route in Germany currently. All right. So Ulm Wendlingen, there is actually a level two with full supervision route. And I have to take care. We are slowing down to 45. Okay. Not 45, 54. Okay. Advance approach signal here. We're getting slowed down even more. I guess we will. So I think we are here in the area between Ravenna and Acton, out of the canyons already. And 
And I think we will have to do one more increase and then drop in speed limit before we get to the grade. So have you played Train Sim World 4 at all, Ronnie? I don't know actually. There is this, yeah. Increase to 79 and then a drop to whatever 50 back. Approach diverging. I've been using instrument cork grease as chapstick help. That sounds that sounds greasy at least. <laughs> But it seems to make a smooth forehead. So, at least the next drop is announced here. To 49. And then we are already diverging for the stop on the grade. Diverging approach. Let's see how much the gradient slows us down. Almost a bit much. But we are almost on time. Here's the stop for two, three, four, five. Always approaching faster than you would think. Well, that's okay. Leave it at minimum. So what's the story about this station here? <laughs> ha! 
having a mission and the sheriff and so on. Looks like a fun fair or saloons, yeah. Exactly. I have not spotted a jail though. But the bank. Don't know if there is. So, two more stops and then we're done. Is there a, a slight dent there is in going across the switch? Now we're going in the descent. What will it be at the switch? Probably something around 37, 40. Forty-five. No sweat then. Jail for people without ticket. Yeah, that is true. Another thing for the guard mode. Don't just send them off the train. Get them to jail. So, this looks slightly different if you compare it to last week. Last week we had snow. Now even the fog has cleared. As soon as we're out of the steep gradient, we can actually accelerate to 79, but I think there will be another another speed limit before we get to Palmdale. Therefore, our change was actually a signal with a G plate. What is for grade, I think? And allows you to pass a red signal with restricted speed, if I'm not mistaken. At least this is uh, the rule in many signaling systems.
this spider-like structure to the left I have not been able to find out what it is supposed to be if it is some crane or similar structure for a junkyard or s something like that okay here's the sign for 79 We can accelerate downhill. So there are no whistleboards actually. Don't know if this means that we don't have to whistle for those level crossings. Is there a sign announcing? No, this was a post with the whistleboards for the opposite direction, so maybe I just missed the one for our direction. And bang. This one I always miss. I never see it in advance and it I never see a sign for it. So another opportunity for the train to take this train. there was another limit but I did not expect it to be so early Now it's going back to 79. But is there any point? Because Palmdale is just around the corner. I just let the train coast and wait for the barber pole. the barber pole. And up ahead there is Palmdale. And here is a hole in the ground. Careful not to fall into it.
And jeez, does the train not want to get slower. So, second but last stop. And we have a lot of time actually. Almost two minutes. Kill here. know what I will use this to turn on the tail lights it's a bit late but still why did I close the doors already So, up the stairs, into the compartment, and on. Where the marker lights, yes. And back to the cockpit. The cab, of course. Never leave your cab open. You can only do this if you know that all the passengers who don't comply will be shot perpendicularly into the air. So at least for the last trip we have the tail lights on. And look how nicely the cars are aligned. I guess they're actually closing the crossing gates when the train is sitting in the station. And here are my marker lights, finally. There was something flying in the air.
And finally, the desert. So, two things about the road traffic. I really like that they made an effort to put a lot of cars on the roads. But sometimes you see it when you're... It seems when you're passing from one tile into the next, that all the cars get deleted and new cars get spawned. Cactus. All right. And those are the last miles. How long are we into the stream? Two hours. 23 well yep this is a long thing to drive approach so we should slow down to 40 for the next signal can't hurt because we are coming with a lot of momentum Just like it. Just so. Just so made it to the 40. Well, the strain when it is running downhill, it does not really want to slow down. Here is a spot loco. Ok. 
Okay. And this is an interesting setup here. We have a red signal at the buffer block. Yeah, Eric has just written it in the chat. Why is that signal there? I guess to make the system, the signaling system, uh, agree with its own rules so that you can have an approach signal and then you want to have a red signal. So this signal must obviously be red all the time. Typically you can just treat the buffer block like a red signal. I don't know, maybe they thought about Look at that. Almost a thousand points lost in speeding. But nevertheless, I'm, I'm getting there. It is a complex speed profile and to memorize this is quite challenging. Stops. Well, the last one, the train just does not want to stop. Four yards, two yards here. Here, here the stop markers do not agree with the stop markers in the game, I guess. Yeah, that was the full run from LA Union Station to Lancaster. Faf route and least Faf route. Well, yeah, train of course. Let's say there is one route actually where I have not really found what I should do with it so far, and this is the Hauptstrecke Rhein Ruhr. So if you ask me for the least favorite route, this is this. And um, my favorite route is, is much more difficult mm -hmm. to say. Um, traditionally, it's sound patch grade, actually, my favorite route. But this might be because it is the first one that I played, and it is it, it has a very very special character. I'm one of the people who really like the West Somerset Railway, even though it is very slow. The Dresden one together with the here the Dresden together with the Rhein Ruhr North where is it here uh, Ruhr Sieg Nord I think it's my favorite in Germany favorite in UK maybe London commuter and from the historical ones the North and Trans Pennine here I guess that's it, and there are many, many routes that I, I, I really like. Taranta Rampe is a great route. Spirit of Steam, Southeastern High Speed. I even like Sherman Hill. I've I've never really found a good thing for Schnellfahrstrecke Kassel Würzburg because running those ICE trains is sometimes a bit boring. Uh, Peninsula Corridor, if if you if it works i really like it the opal subdivision nidertalbahn is great mein besser i still have to catch up with that one the bakerloo line is a great route in itself the tgv obviously isle of white is a nice little thing horseshoe curve is a great route too yeah this is the hauptstrecke rhein uh if, if someone can tell me what is what is the really good thing about this route? Then maybe I will give it a new try. Mission Augsburg, for some reason, I'm not a big fan of it. Well, that was obviously a much longer answer than 
What is a good route? Die Hauptstrecke rein Ruhr. Hm. Ja, aber das ist schon, es ist so short. It has, it is busy and it has lots of trains on it, but it is. Before you start getting a feel of it, the track is already over. So I might want to give it a new try, and it is one of the the few routes that have not been that I have not played on stream yet, even though I own them. Yeah. Rapid Transit I have not played, I guess. What have I played? Where have I not played the Gre Western Express? I have not played yet. Matt Paddleton said <laughs> that the Great Western Express should be thrown away and made a new. Maybe. That's it. Clinchfield is one of my favorites too. Cane Creek is one of the routes that I have to still find something. Why I would want to play it again it is a bit... Well, a bit boring. Have you driven the G6 Shunter for Rhein-Ruhr Osten? Yes! I've even uh, made a video about it, I think. There are quite nice uh, services and scenarios with the G6 on Rhein-Ruhr Osten, but it has some weird signaling errors. The the German signaling with the G6 um, scenarios is, is one of the weirdest that you can get, in my opinion. Maybe because the Rhein-Ruhr Osten was not uh, built in a way that the signaling system could do all the things that it needed to do when they later retrofitted the G6 services and, and uh, scenarios. Well, well, but altogether I, 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 I would not know where to start and where to end if I or was to name all the services that I like. I also like the Arusa line. It is great. Austin has a lot of sharp corners. Mm -hmm. But it is a route that is very fun driving and it has this some services that go into the opposite direction um, track with trapezoid boards and isolated uh, four signal tafeln. Well, yeah, we will get to more stuff. Boston, I've not mentioned, is a great route. Birmingham, Crossroad is a route that is really great. Prima in Oldenburg, I was a bit disappointed in the route because it is a bit dull to drive, in my opinion. It has a lot of, of trains, too, and a lot of services. But there is not much happening when you're going there from Bremen to Oldenburg. It's flat, and this profile is not very dynamic. Cathcart I have not played a lot. I'm don't I'm not really sure what to make out of that one. Yeah, well. Some more things to do in, in the future. Maybe I will, will come back to what you guys said and and start with doing another video about break percentage calculation and, and stuff like this to to go with the don't break it if it ain't fixed video. Let's see what we will do. If you have more ideas, just let me know. I'm always happy if there is input. Um, but for now, I think I have taken enough of your time. Two hours 30 after a bit of a bumpy start because my OBS did not want to connect with Twitch. So thank you guys very much for staying with me for all your comments and input and uh, 
Have a nice week. Take care. And enjoy the game and all the other things that you might be doing until we meet again. Bye-bye.